diamond mines are driven by individuals who have a passion for the business. There's something special about this company and I really believe in it. I believe there's so much for every person that is working here. As soon as my boy is out of university, I'm praying that he will be integrated into the system of Wedu Holdings. We believe in empowering women. We are like the United Nations. We draw the best people from around the world to work with and train our local workforce. It's truly a family. With Squad Holdings, I know my future is bright. That's for sure. Yeah. After the war, we came back. It was an unfortunate part of our history, but today we are looking ahead. Because of this company, people started rebuilding their lives. The first company that came to this country was Koedu Holdings. I mean, it's opened the doors of this country to the outside world to see that. And this country is now peaceful. This country has got huge potential. How can investors be assured that money that goes in today will, it'll certainly provide returns in the future, but that it's a safe. Now these investors are people who will demand the best, will demand a transparent process. Investors, I think, are looking at Africa differently. You know, they are prepared to come in and invest. There are funds being established to invest in Africa. There's a sense that maybe there are opportunities there that, 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 that could be developed. One of the things that always worries me whenever I hear of economies based on resources, diamonds, oils, minerals, is that it is a breeding ground for corruption unless there are the most stringent reforms in place. We have enacted the most stringent anti-corruption legislation and we've allowed it to work. We've got a commission that has enough power to prosecute any offender. In 2003, this country developed a 2025 vision to reduce poverty and improve the lots of the people in this country. The contribution that Kwedu Holdings are making, they're helping the youths to get employment. In educational sector, they're providing scholarship. What next, yes? A sun, a calabash that was full with sun. Education for any country is strength. Imagine working in an environment where people cannot afford to send their children to school. And then a company like Kwedu Holdings is coming in, giving a scholarship to those children, giving them a hope for the future. Thank God Kwedu Holdings was here, came to our age. All the brilliant students in Konono, they paid for us. Kwedu Holdings is resettling people that are immediately within their mining concession. They are constructing over 300 houses and community facilities like water, market schools, and hospitals. At my old place, good tarpaulins on our houses. When it's raining, we rain can meet us in our rooms. Now they're having a zinc on the houses, and it's a concrete houses. Thank God I'm in a very good place. If you compare to the past, where the people live originally, and you look at here, the life is more improved. We have better houses, better drinking water, safe drinking water. The clean water that goes to the community as a result of our mining operations, the guy who tested it says we could actually bottle the water. It's so perfect. And this is the water that we're going to pipe to the houses. We're already constructing the water reservoir at the resettlement site. The water body is within our mining lease area. There's the cleanest water within kilometers. So all the wildlife migrate into our property. It's going to be an even better environment for wildlife to flourish. It's important for us to grow beyond what we are today. Because with that growth, you start distributing wealth. You start distributing experience. You start distributing knowledge. Koidu Holdings came at a time when 90% of Koidu population hasn't got a job. When they came in, they serve as a litmus test. 95% of the people are locals here. And they came to Koidu Holdings not knowing nothing. We train the people here in-house training. The drillers, you can see, I train the drillers. People with nothing, no education, no skills, no training, nothing, can now operate world-class high-tech survey equipment. We have people that know how to use computers who have never ever seen, who have never had electricity in their life before. If you give them an enabling environment, you encourage them, 
they can do magnificent things. The personal development that I've seen in them and how they plow that back into the company and that level of commitment, they've got more potential than they realize and they've got more potential than what you realize. I've been given an opportunity to grow. I came here, had my own little dreams and things came to me that I didn't expect actually. And I can see I'm actually really growing further. I always say that if I can see the soul of Koido Holdings in a person, then I know we're okay because that person will take care of the company. For health and safety, they have strict guidelines and rules that workers must always be safety conscious because of the nature of the job they do. And also, they make provisions for employees when it comes to their welfare. Relax, keep system as possible. Eh? Koido Holdings is offering medical facilities when I said medical, medical facilities, pure Medicare for the workers and their dependents. When people come to the clinic, the way they are treated, they've got access to exactly the same facility that Westerners use. That gives them a sense of belonging, that gives them a sense of self-worth. The drugs we have here is first class. Equipment, first class. Even my child is being registered here and my mother. So even if my child is sick, I know Koido Links is there. They'll just give the medication without even me paying a single cent. It's free. The management and the union came together to agreed that workers' salary should go through the bank. Initially, workers were being paid just on the table. When they are paid on the table, by the time they get home, it's all finished. That is why we put this strategy in place that whenever they are coming to receive their salaries, they come with their wives, so that when they collect the money straight from the bank, their wives are with them to collect their own portion of the salary to be able to settle the home problems. With the banks, you take just what you require for your family, and you need to manage your money very well. There is a district football team here. We committed ourselves to give them all of their kids, everything that they need and that has had some tremendous impact on the community. I want to have partners to help you to put up 32 youth centers where they can see all the Manchester United films and everything. I have been talking to Pedro Holdings coming on that. I know the will. In the mining process or in any mining process, the first step is to understand the geology. Otherwise, you're going to go in and you're going to be mining blindly. The geology is the foundation of the whole operation. And we've spent a lot of time and money making sure that we understand all the characteristics of the deposits to depths of between 300 and 500 meters below surface. Our exploration program has included an extensive core drilling program to locate and delineate the geometry of the pipes and dikes at depth and to be able to calculate the volumes and tonnages for each ore source. To date, we have completed 160 drill holes with over 40,000 meters of core drilling. At this point in time, we know exactly where the Kimberlites are and we have a good understanding of what the grades are. We have a team of grade controllers which record every bucket of ore excavated from each pit to each load fed into the plant. This means that every diamond sold can be traced back to the exact blast area from which it was mined. We have developed systems which prevent anyone from touching a diamond with their bare hands during the process, thereby eliminating the temptation or opportunity for any individual to interfere with the diamond recoveries. The Koidu diamond product is unique in their beautiful crystals and it's highly sought after in the world's cutting centres. Three and four carats, five carats. Security is of paramount importance. We take the Kimberley guidelines and regulations very seriously and have developed and implemented internal controls, accounting and security measures designed to eliminate the presence of conflict diamonds. This is a different nation. We've changed, we're clean, we're development oriented and we're itching to move forward. We don't want to go backward, we're moving on. I was born here. I grew up in this community. I know what is good for my people. From our point of view, from every angle, Kwedu Holdings being here is a blessing. In this environment, every little thing you do has such a huge impact. 
One can't help but get excited about how much more we can do when the mine is operating at full capacity.